When you act a fool and harass people for no good reason at all, don't be surprised when you get what's coming to you. You're fired and you deserve it. Our top story at 530, a Bay Area woman is out of a job after confronting this man wearing his Make America Great Again hat. The incident playing out at a Palo Alto Starbucks store. Good evening, I'm Elizabeth Cook. And I'm Veronica Dela Cruz. Let's get you right to KPX 5's Lender Ramirez in Palo Alto, where he spoke with a Trump supporter about what exactly happened. Len? Reached out to both the woman and the man involved in this incident, uh, but we were unable to uh, reach the woman. She seems nowhere to be found after of apparently losing her job nearby. But the man apparently still out here walking the streets, and that's where she we found go. him today. Good riddance. You what know, happened? America's still a free country, right? I Victor mean, F. is a 74-year-old Trump supporter who lives in Palo Alto. He casually went about his business today, still sporting the red MAGA hat that prompted a loud confrontation with a woman at a Palo Alto Starbucks two days ago. This crazy woman came over started raving at me. She turned to the rest of Starbucks. Hey, everybody, here's this racist here. He hates brown people. He's crazy. He's a, a Nazi and so forth. The woman, Rebecca Parker Mankey, then began taking photos and posting about it on her Facebook, saying she was going to shame him, get him fired, kicked out of clubs, and march up and down his street. Victor says she left, then came back and tried to rile the Starbucks crowd once more. Hey, again, everybody hear this racist and so on. And then as she wrote in her thing, she was disappointed all the people didn't come and mob me. In fact, the opposite happened. People started harassing Parker Mankey's family and her employer, Griffin Stringed Instruments, where she worked as an accountant. The store owner decided to fire her after he read her Facebook posts. We feel that music is what brings people together. And so having someone then making comments that are divisive is just not consistent with our values. Good. No one answered the door at Parker Mankey's home, but a female spoke through a closed window saying Rebecca doesn't live here. She didn't want to discuss the issues with me. She wanted just to scream about Nazis and so on. Victor wears a yarmulke underneath his MAGA hat. He is Jewish, and so to him, being called a Nazi is hurtful. People with an education should know better than to say stupid things like that. Lots of people have come up to me and said they sympathize and so on, but they're scared to wear the Trump hat. So I hope this incident brings a wave of people wearing the Trump hats, just like the wave of people with anti-Trump uh, opinions. Now, Victor says he has been wearing his MAGA hat for many months now. A few people come up to him and say that they agree with him and thank him for wearing it, but he says, by and large, most people just ignore it. Reporting live in Palo Alto, Len Ramirez, KPIX 5. Wow, man, she had the nerve to call a Jewish man, a 74-year-old man, probably retired, a Nazi or a racist. And seriously, for real, like you got the nerve. People are so misguided. This woman, whatever school she went to, whatever parents she had, they failed big time because people nowadays, they, they read something, they, they see some movement, they jump on board and they take it as gospel without actually digging a little deeper, without actually seeing like, okay, why are these people wearing these hats? Why are these people backing Donald Trump and things of that nature? It's not a racist thing. They want America to be back on top again. They want America to be home of the free because of the brave again. The people have died time and time again fighting for your rights, for your right to virtue signal and act a fool like this. And it's no no surprise that she looks like that wild, crazy mohawk. But then when somebody wants to confront her on her her stance and why she's acting a fool, all emotional with with some logic, with some facts, just to have a civil discussion, all oh, you hide behind a window. It probably wasn't even her. She ha had her little friend, probably a girlfriend or something like that. I'm sure she probably isn't straight looking like that. They may be wrong of me to say, but hiding behind a window and, and not actually willing to just talk things out and say like, oh, why don't you look at this perspective? Why don't you look at how how we live, why we think this way, why we look at it this way. And <laughs> the irony of her being fired after making fun of a, um, of a man who's retired is beautiful. I think that's a beautiful thing. And I hope to God that she wakes up and she turns over a new leaf and starts looking at life from a, a broader lens instead of this, this closed minded, this uh, echo chamber sort of thing and calling everybody racist just because they support a man named Donald Trump. That's ridiculous. You saw my man, how calm and level headed he was, but he's a MAGA supporter. So he's supposed to be spiteful and racist and out to, to bash everybody based on what they look like. That, that's hardly the case at all. Most Republicans, conservatives, uh, Donald Trump supporters, whatever you want to call them, are level-headed. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they support what they support. They support freedom. They stand up for pro-life. They stand up for pro-gun. They stand up for pro-America. And a lot of them are pro-God as well, which is the most important thing. If you don't love God and you don't love your neighbor, then you ain't doing it right. You're, you're acting all sorts of out of turn. And I love it. I absolutely love it. But I'm flabbergasted that 
that this is the reality that some people live in, this woke culture, this fake narrative that they're pushing. They don't even know why they're calling these people racist. You can't call a Jewish man a racist for wearing a MAGA hat. And ain't it refreshing, like, when the news media and journalists actually do their job, they just report on the facts. They deliver it accurately and allow the viewer to determine if it's real or fake. They, they allow the viewer to think for themselves instead of having this bias approach and pushing some false narrative or, or some hint or tip that they got from an, an anonymous source without actually reporting on what really happened, without actually diving deep and doing some research. That's how it's supposed to be in a journalistic field, but it's not anymore. We know how CNN is. We know how Fox could be. We know how all these, these sources and outlets are. They're not reliable. But this right here, I love it. Shout out to this news station for reporting on the facts. You can whine and cry about them all day long, but it is what it is. It's, it's right there on paper. It's right there in front of you. So you can virtue signal. You can uh, go crazy, wild out all you want. But that doesn't change what was actually going on. That doesn't change what actually occurred. And I love that. Think about it for a second. People like this coward woman right here are the same ones that burn down cities and loot innocent business owners just because pro-life, pro-gun, pro-God, pro-America. The minute somebody shouts that, it's war worth three. They start acting nuts for absolutely no reason at all other than to get attention, other than because they're ignorant. They don't know what actually played out behind the scenes. They don't actually know what the cause is, what what somebody else is standing for, and they have no values. They have no love in them. They have no, no love of God, no uh, recognition of what Christ did on the cross for all of us. So I'm going to pray for, I'm going to pray for people like this, that they wake up, that they find truth, that they get directed on the path of righteousness, and they stop living in this sin, living in this demon-filled culture. I'm praying for him hard. And I, I encourage you to do the same. I also want to know your thoughts on this right here. Somebody wearing a MAGA hat. Does that have to represent racism, this made up idea that, that Donald Trump is somehow a racist? Y'all let me know your thoughts down below. Let's keep this conversation rolling. Remember, we can still be civil and still be respectful. We don't get anywhere when we start acting crazy, when we start acting like we're off our rocker. So keep it civil down below. Keep it respectful. We can agree, disagree, whatever, and still be friends and still love each other. That's how we get somewhere. That's how we see other perspectives. Because once you get a motion involved, nobody gets anywhere. But if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date on all future videos. Share this video for, I mean, it's, it's pretty apparent to me, get this out in front of other people, allow them to think for themselves just like you did when you stepped into this, this video right here. If you want to support my channel, all my links are down below in the description, like this awesome Born Again shirt made by my lovely wife on her Etsy store. She's got a bunch of different designs, bleach, no bleach options, petite teat to big, big sizes, hoodies, t-shirts, colors, everything you need is on her Etsy store. So go show her some love. If you want to join the Patreon family, donate on PayPal. All that stuff is down below as well. But until next time, I love y'all. I'm praying for you and this crazy world we're living in. Godspeed. I'm gone.